Hi guys, so you know I just got an order in uh, some stuff I picked up from Spellbinders and one thing that I decided to go ahead and get on HSN so I will have links in the description box there are affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through those links. Thank you guys so much uh, for supporting the channel that way. It's um, really kind of you to use them if, if that's something you want to do. Um, so I laughed because the HSN thing, because I was like, I don't know, and should I get it? And, and so I'm gonna show you what this is. And it's because I have an illness, people. Uh, let's see here. Let me open this up. And then the Spellbinders stuff, I just ordered on the 26th and it's already here. So it seems like Spellbinders is back on track, um, at least with that order. I hope you guys are getting your things in more timely. I know they were like almost two and a half, almost three weeks out before. I had checked, actually it was 15 days from when I ordered from the last time when they shipped the items and this one was literally two days. And I already got it, so from the 26th, today's what, the 29th? Um, pretty quick, right? Um, okay, so this is the Anna Griffin frames and something or other kit that comes with her mini, ooh, sorry. I keep punching, I, I told you guys I got a new tripod, I just haven't set it up yet. Um, it comes with her little mini uh, die cutting machine. I know, I don't need it. I don't need it, but it was cute. So I wanted to try it. And if it's no, you know, something I don't need or whatever, you know, I have 30 days to return it. Which reminds me, on HSN, you guys, um, if you've been ordering anything since basically September 1st, if it's something that uh, didn't work out, you know, you don't care for it, you have to have the packaging though. Um, you can still return it until January 31st, right? Because it's their extended holiday. So just a uh, heads up for you guys to remember if there's something you want to get returned, uh, get that package it up and get it going because you have a couple days here to get that set up. So um, I believe this is still 59 and change um, is what they were asking for it. Um, and I think it's still available, but like I said, I'll have the links if, you know. So it comes with some frames already done. All you have to do is stamp like whatever your sentiment or whatever it is that you want to put in there. So you can go ahead and do that. There it has the stamps that you can stamp your own new ones. This looks very familiar to me because I have a ton of her stuff, but I don't think I have these and I think they were new. Uh, you guys can remind me. I know I never got this kit with that um, die cutting machine. I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, and then it has all the dies, and that's really what I wanted. And I know that's probably too much money for just this is what I really wanted. But her little machine is pretty cute because you can do your embossing and all that kind of stuff with it too. So that's why I was like, I really wanted to try it out. And, you know, who knows? Um, so let's open this guy up. Uh, with Spellbinders, again, they are having an extra 15% off their clearance. If you put it in your cart, the 15% off will come off in the cart, not the price that you see in their clearance section. So um, that's pretty much what I have here is clearance stuff, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, and then the new bunny kit, which is so cute. I'll show it to you, the Sunday Drive. I told you guys I'd be picking it up, and I picked it up. Let's open this thing up. Oh, come on. Um, and then she has different cutting tools for this. What's weird about it is that I know like Cuddlebug, obviously they're not making any more, or Sizzix, um, Provocraft, I guess. Um, they're not making plates and all that stuff for the Cuddlebug anymore. And this is very much like a Cuddlebug machine. Um, so I'm probably gonna pick up some more plates just to have them for the future. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. That's so cute. I don't know why, I just thought it was like super mini and I saw her demo and for some reason in her hands I still thought it was like small. How cute is this? It is actually kind of big for the opening because our old diamond press opening for the little guy is almost the same, it seems. Um, but this has a lot of extra, right, from left to right here. Um, yeah, so this is a little cutie. I'm gonna, I'll do a whole to a review on this, so I don't want to really un unbox it, but it does have the little lever here to latch it to your plate, to your surface. And these two things open up, and it makes like a little um, little shelf, right, to, for your stuff to go through. And it comes with the plates. This looks like the longer plates, because I know she has a set of longer plates and a set of shorter plates. I don't think the longer plates are much longer than this, or maybe I'm tripping, because um, to be honest, I didn't look at the sizing. Maybe they are longer. Yeah, I have a feeling they are. This is the short plate, isn't it? They usually give you the smaller thing and then you have to probably pay for the other one. Um, but that is really cute. Yeah. And then you can emboss and, and, and emboss even with the rubber mat. That's pretty much why I wanted it. So we will see. I will definitely follow up with a video video. Oh, I don't even know where to put this right now. Okay, let's... <laughs> Oh, you guys. Okay, well, this is Spellbinder stuff that I bought, but um, Diamond Press, I got a, a package from them yesterday, and it, you guys are going to love everything. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, I can't even say too much. But I do want to mention they are going to have a Facebook Live in February. And they, I think, put on their Instagram something about this, that they're going to have uh, their new products on their site, which is what we love, right? Because we can use my discount, uh, VCDP. Hopefully by then it'll be 20%. I don't know. We just need to... Just over 100 more people if that's going to work out for me to get to 20,000 and get you guys your 20 percent off but um if it's still 19 it'll be 19 percent you know um they're gonna have new products then i have the new things for like hsn's craft days to review and you guys they're just they're just doing so so many cute things so keep an eye out for that i did also get the auto ship uh, they were kind enough to send that to me for the happy mail and this is what i made and i was gonna do the video today but you know what i'll release it tomorrow i mean there's no emergency here because the kit already went out if you're signed up for the happy mail auto ship it's the one that had the little envelope if you guys remember hidden messages so that one should have gone out recently and this is what i created with it so keep an eye out tomorrow for that video maybe later today if i feel like i should just put it out i don't know I just that gives me content for tomorrow <laughs> um, if I hold it until tomorrow right okay spellbinders let's open this up I was like they put it in a kind of a big box I don't remember really ordering big things so I'm not sure what this exactly is hold on oh my gosh okay you know what um it's review stuff. I know the other stuff went out yesterday um, because I got a notification that my stuff went out. And I thought, oh, that's really fast, actually, for the mail to get it to me the next day. So let's not do that. And then you know what I can do in this video? We'll try out that um, Anna Griffin um, little uh, machine. And I'm sorry. Woohoo. But yes, but Spellwinders is still having their sale. I didn't realize that they were going to send me so many items to review at once. So this is a bigger... That's why I was like, this is pretty big. Um, so yeah, it's nothing... I can share with you right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, grab some papers and we'll try out the little Anna Griffin uh, mini. It says, that's all it says, Anna Griffin mini die cutting and embossing machine. And I'm so sorry if you guys expected it. I'll probably get that spellbinder stuff tomorrow. Like I said, it did send it out and I do have the tracking for it. It was through the U.S. Postal Service. So I should have known that wasn't going to be here from one night to the next with the USPS, right? Um, okay, let me grab some paper and we'll try out our Anna die cutting machine. Okay, so... Again, sorry about that. I spared you guys the sound of getting this out of that crinkly plastic, so I took that out. Um, let me grab a piece of paper. This is just plain old paper. We have our little plates. And I was reading over the instructions. It's kind of interesting because some of it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Hold on. I just don't see the difference here and there. So we have our plates. We have a base that you never cut into. This is just something you're going to be using. We have an embossing. We have a cutting mat. We have, this is so cute, the magnetic or magnet cutting mat. We have a rubber die embossing mat and we have die cutting and embossing. Okay, so this is what's weird. So there's a lot of different ways you can play this up. I have never seen this in action, so you know. Um, so you can use the base plate, you can use your thin metal die, your paper, and then your cutting, run it through. Or you can do the base, the magnetic cutting mat, your die facing up, not cutting into the magnet, but up. Usually, sometimes she cuts into the magnet, but this one's showing it up, and it says that on here. Paper, then the die cutting and embossing. So A, D, die, paper, F. Why would you want to do that separately from this? I don't know. Um, and then you can emboss it with, again, the base, the die that's already with the paper cut into it, right? your embossing and then the F again. What I'm trying to say is why don't you just do this and then go to the E and F. You know what I'm saying? Like I guess it's just a couple different ways to do that. I don't know. Because um, you're not keeping the magnet in place to hold. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of weird. But that's fine. And then embossing with a folder. Obviously it has to be a folder that fits through there. And it's just the base and the embossing uh, topper. So I am going to stamp Sorry, I totally, again, this is what happens sometimes in my channel here. I like to uh, open things in front of y'all, <laughs> and I didn't realize it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm just going to stamp it plain, maybe with some black ink. And then, um, I don't know that these even have embossability, really, but I'll still try it just to put an edge around it so we can see kind of what that might look like. Obviously, your dies have to be small enough to fit on these plates and this plate is two and a half inches 
just over two and a half inches, like a little bit bigger than two and a half inches. And then the they are two, four, six and a quarter inches long. So I'm gonna take this and stamp that real quick. And I, and I like to use like gold embossing powder and stuff like that. It looks really pretty. Um, I'm just gonna stamp this up. No, not stays on. Let's versify would be great, but I don't want to wait for that to dry. So let's do a little memento ink. Let me really get that on there. Interesting, I see a lot of hills and valleys already on this stamp. This stamp is not uh, photopolymer. It's just regular acrylic. So we'll see what happens. And maybe I should have prepped it, primed it for this first one. Um, a lot of times on these guys, you can run some stays on on it. So it stays on there and it gives it something to grip the next time you use the stamp. See, I missed that. Oh, it's not bad, but I just did miss that section there. Um, I'm gonna turn it over that way. I'll just use that same area. Um, you can run a buffering block over it, something very light and just <laughs> scrape it up. Um, you can use an eraser to rub over it just to see if you can get that. Okay, sorry, my alarm went off. I actually have to go help Miranda with school. Let's do that again. I think I'll have time to cut this out real quickly. Still not that great in that section. Let me get this done a little better. And it could be that I'm not using a stamping mat and all that kind of stuff. So I can see that that middle piece right there <laughs> does not want me to stamp. Okay, that's better. So if I miss this top part, I'm gonna do it again. I will be right back because I gotta get Miranda going with school, but I'll be right back. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I should just bring out a stamping thing or do a precision press, so sorry I did not. And I'm gonna cut this. It's quite possible that it's not even close enough. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Nicely packaged with a little carrier sheet for some reason. But we're gonna do this guy. And I'm gonna cut this out just, I think I'm gonna eyeball this one. See what happens. Do, do, do. Here we go. Uh, that looks about right. Let's move it over a little more this way. How about that? Okay. Still gonna tape that. And okay, so again, what is it that we wanna do? I'm just gonna do a base. I'm gonna put this with the die facing up and then cutting. Okay, so I'm just doing the base, the die facing up on the paper, cutting. So it's just those two things. Okay, well, I'm gonna suction this. I don't know if it's gonna work though because um, this surface is very porous, but we just turn that down. Yeah. It, didn't do anything. If you're on a glass surface or like an actual table, it probably would work better, but. Ooh, it feels like butter. So we'll see if it's actually cutting. <laughs> That's always the thing when something's so easy, you're like, hmm, is it cutting? It cut, looks great. Okay, so this is the thing. I'm already, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave that. It didn't really even barely etched it. Look at that. That's good. And then, uh, so what I'm gonna do is the rubber mat and then the die cutting and embossing. That's what they said. And let's run that through again. Like I said, I don't know if it's really gonna do anything because, ooh, that's tight and that's a lot tighter um, because that die doesn't really have a lot of embossing on it. It would just be like the edges. Okay, very good. Did not cut through the rubber mat. I have had die cutting machines that will cut the mat completely. So that's good. And let me make sure that tape isn't too stuck down. Oh, look at that. Hopefully you can see that little embossing. Pretty good because it didn't damage it a lot of this stuff. You know, a lot of times you do something and it's like, okay, it's done the first time <laughs> or like really badly cut into. So this is really great. Let me grab a few other things. I'll be right okay, back. So I set her up, but I have to be a little bit quiet. So I have this little scrap piece of paper. I think what we'll do is to try out the other matte combinations. I'm just gonna stamp the um, 
just for you. And then we'll cut it out. So just quickly trying this out. I really like it because it has all the capability of like a larger machine, but obviously with the embossing and all that kind of fun stuff. Let me get this memento and see if we can get this going. A lot of times when it's something small like this, um, a word stamp, it's always easy. It always stamps crisply the first time. I should have just pulled out a mat, but of course I was being stubborn. See, but it's just like those bigger ones that always will give you a little bit of an issue when they're just acrylic stamps. Um, okay, so I have that. And then what I'm gonna do is cut it out with this little piece that nestles right back in there. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just gonna pop that on there and tape it down. And I'm doing it this way and then I turn it over, but however you wanna do this. So this is the different sandwich. They have the cutting, not cutting, sorry. Where is our base? So we have our base and then we have the magnet, which is super cute magnet. And then we're gonna have this with the die and the paper facing up. And that's why I taped it because otherwise you're not gonna be able to see what's going on and it's facing down. And then die cut and embossing, which is F. Okay, I'm gonna run this through and see what the difference is. Maybe this is a little bit tighter and gives you more of a, no, it feels just as smooth. I don't know. Hopefully that cut. Yep. You can see there. It looks like it cut just fine. Okay, again, I'm gonna take that off and I'll run it through with base um, embossing face up and then die cut and embossing again. And I'm gonna run this through real quick. Again, it's a little more snug. So anyway, my fear is that they're gonna not make any more plates, you know what I'm saying? Because these other companies are already not doing that. And I don't even know if this is ProvoCraft. I just have to look at that. Aw, look at that, the little embossing. I mean, take this off of here carefully, carefully, carefully. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you guys, this is all over the place because I started off thinking it was just gonna be a haul and then, you know, we got to play. So it nestles in there. Really cute. You could also, I suppose, then take this if you wanted to cut out that center piece of this, you know, however it is. I mean, there's lots of dies in this particular set uh, to do different things with, to mix and match. And that's all I have. I don't know that I have anything to emboss that's thin enough and small enough to go through here. Maybe stuff that I have from like Crafters Companion, those thin embossing folders would be something, but I, I don't even know where those are right now. <laughs> so I am not gonna do that. But if you did do that, you'd do your base, you do your embossing folder with the paper in it, and then you do your embossing B. So this embossing is embossing folder embossing. <laughs> and this is like rubber mat embossing, the F and the E, right? So a couple different ways to cut it, just the base, you're dyeing your paper and you're cutting, or your base, your magnetic mat, your die in your paper and your F. Okay, so <laughs> ADF or AC, or, you know, again with the rubber mat, you take the magnet away and it would be AEF. And then again, this is just for if you're using a folder. Pretty cool. All right, guys, well, I'm glad to have it. Uh, to be honest, I, I love things like this anyway, so I just think it's fun that you can have all that different capability there. And I really just wanted to try it out, so hopefully I'll use it more often. You'll see it in videos um, coming up whenever I have something that I do want to just have the capability of a larger machine, but this little guy. Uh, and again, I didn't really go over this too much, but there's all the different stamps and mixers and you know the die that goes for this guy's in there oh this will be nice because i a lot of times i stamp things and i don't know what to do with the uh sentiment other than just cutting it out um all right guys well thanks for watching sorry i wasn't really prepared to do a whole video myself because i was thinking my mind was in hall mode like easy little video you know <laughs> real quick all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow or maybe later today but i'll have the links in the description box again spellbinders is having that clearance sale it looks like they're back on track um, my tonic order i placed one wednesday i haven't heard yet that it's shipped and i think they're probably still a week and a half to two weeks behind is what they've been um what else oh somebody did tell me they got theirs pretty quickly though so who knows um and then 
think those are all the updates I have for right now. Oh yeah, Diamond Press, keep an eye out you know before and, I go. Uh, and I was totally wrapping it up there. Um, I get this question all the time, literally every day. I'm not kidding. So I hope it doesn't seem repetitive when I mention in pretty much every video if I remember. Any thin metal die like this can be cut in any thin metal die machine. I can put this in my marquee. I can put this in my Gemini Junior. I can put it in the Empress. I can put it in the other cuddle bugs, big shots. It doesn't matter if it's a thin metal die, it can go through any machine that cuts thin metal dies. The only issue is if you have the bigs dies, those big thick ones, I used to have them here with me, but I hardly ever use them, so I put them out in the garage just recently. Um, those big thick ones that are like this, steel roll dies, big shot, you know, cuddle bug, those old school machines that will take something like that. These guys will not. So, um, any thin metal die. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Doesn't matter if it's a boutique die, if it's Diamond Press, Crafters Companion, Sizzix, uh, Stamps of Life. It doesn't matter. They can all, they're all interchangeable. You don't have to have the machine for that brand to cut those dies. Okay. So just know that because I know um, people have that question all the time, all the time. <laughs> so I, in this machine, I could run through my Diamond Press um, dies. Actually, you know what? I have a little Art Impressions die right here. Let me cut it real quick just to show you what I mean. So this is Art Impressions. It's not anything to do with, with Anna Griffin here. So let's do that. Let's take a little scrap of paper because I don't really care. I'll just put the die there, take a little scrap of paper, put it on top of there, and let's do die cutting. Here we go. I was already doing that upside down. Okay, base, base and cutting are very similar. <laughs> I have a feeling they're the same thing, but base, there we go, is that. And then we'll put this on here. I'm sorry, my son just came in the kitchen and kicked something. Cutting, and now I'll run it through and I'll just show you real quickly that that's just, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it literally does not matter. There you go. Okay, as long as it's a thin metal cutting die, you're good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to make sure to, to get that out there. And I will continue to say it if I can remember on some of the other review to, uh, videos I do. All right, guys, thanks so much. Bye now.